Here are 10 very specific things that I need restaurants to change. Post haste, please. Number one, let's make restaurant easier to spell first. That'd be cool. Number two, chicken mini should be available all day long. It's real simple, Chick-fil-A. It's a nugget, you got those all the time, in a roll. And that's not a breakfast thing. If I surveyed 100 people and asked them what do they associate a roll with, 99 of them would say supper. The only goofball that says breakfast is you. There's no excuses. Number three, Waffle House. Let's find a way to move the All-Star Special from three plates to just one, okay? I can't be at my tiny little table at 2 a.m. playing Tetris with breakable objects. And frankly, I've been afraid to say anything up to this point because I am afraid of you, but this has to stop. Please don't hurt me. Number four. This one is directed at Firehouse, but it pretty much applies to any place with the rewards program, and that is stop changing the rewards. I was this close to earning a free party tray from Firehouse, and they took it away from me. And now what am I supposed to use my 10 million points on? Six large subs? That's not a party. It's just a, a normal Thursday night for me. Number five, Burger King. Just stop, please. Number six, McDonald's. Y'all gotta fire whoever is in charge of Happy Meals, okay? Y'all are putting the worst toys in there. We had the best toys when we were kids, and now the other day my daughter got a build-it-yourself Jenga kit. I'm not even joking. What is the point of that? And stop with these toys that don't really do anything unless you download an app. The whole point of toys is to get the kids to stop looking at their tablet. It, you blew it, okay? Real serious question, McDonald's corporate. Have you ever met a child and while we're on the subject, the adult Happy Meals ain't gonna cut it, okay? I don't know what any of this is, even this new stuff that you're doing with Cam Newton, okay? No adult wants to reach in to grab their 10-piece nugget and pull out a nightmare. What is this? Number seven, bring back the Mexi Melt, Taco Bell, or I will fight you. I'm gonna punch you right in the throat. Number eight, Cracker Barrel. Y'all got a little too much going on with a little old country store. It is hard enough to maneuver through there without bumping into somebody as you pass Bill Gaither's greatest hit CD rack. But on a Sunday afternoon, <laughs> it is impossible. You either have to make that store look less like a hospital gift shop on steroids or give us a separate entrance. You might have to lose two or three of those rocking chairs out front, but it'll be worth it. Number nine, there's really not a lot we could do about this one now, Logan's Roadhouse, but I am not happy that you did not inform me that you can't just dump peanut shells in the floor anymore. So one day I just look like a big old dirty fool. So thanks a lot, Logan's Jerk House. Number 10, Five Guys. $12 for a burger is insane. And I know y'all ain't broke because you're giving out french fries like a daycare gives out germs. Get back to reality, please, all five of you. Just a bonus here, and I want to say something nice to Hunt Brothers Pizza. You just keep doing you, baby. You're not even a restaurant. Heck, you're, you're barely pizza, but you've never once deceived us. That's for you.